When the James Cook left Southampton on an expedition led by the University of Cambridge Department of Earth Sciences, on board were 26 scientists from all over the world. Our goal was to analyze the seafloor sediments in order to reconstruct the Earth's climate history over thousands of years. My name is Julia Gottschalk and I'm a third year PhD student at the University of Cambridge in the Earth Science Department. Our destination was the continental margin of the coast of Portugal. The continental margin of Portugal is an extraordinary region to study because um, the way the sediments got deposited actually provides us a pristine record of, of the global ocean climate but also Earth's climate. One of the goals of our cruise was to image the seafloor by geophysical acoustic means. Geophysical imaging allows us to look at the sediment layers beneath the seafloor. We were interested in the so-called Shackleton sites, and they were named after Sir Nicholas Shackleton, who was um, a professor at the Earth Science Department in the University of Cambridge. And he was really a pioneer investigating these sediments, and he found out that these sediments act basically as a tape recorder of, of ocean circulation and climate change of both hemispheres, which is quite unique. There are different ways to core seafloor sediments. So one of them is the box corer. It's um, a large steel container which carves into the sediment and brings up basically a very pristine chunk of seafloor surface sediments. What we are looking at here is seafloor sediments from four kilometers below the ship. We think that these sediments are the most recent to be laid down and we think they represent modern conditions. We use them in conjunction with other sediment cores um, that penetrate the seafloor to much greater depths. One day aboard is extremely expensive, so of course we use every minute day and night by working in shifts. Even though the graveyard shift from midnight to 4 a.m. in the morning is of course very hard, everyone tries to make the most of their time on board. The yellow tube that we see here is the inner part of a piston cora. In comparison to the box cora, the piston cora allows us to go about 15 meters into the seabed and um, this equals about um, tens of thousands of years of climate history. One of the things we look for is simply the color of the sediments. So darker sediments might indicate that they have formed under much lower oxygen conditions than for example today. Each core provides us with years of material to study and we start the analysis right away on board. One of the aspects we are interested in are the fossil remains of sea creatures which are called foraminifera. We are looking at the composition of the shells of these foraminifera and we are able to reconstruct the temperature of the ocean going back tens of thousands of years. This is only one single puzzle piece in our whole understanding of the Earth system, how it has worked in the past and how it might work in the future. <laughs>